So I'm not gonna lie, I am already a bit nervous. <laughs> Welcome in, my beautiful builders, to a brand new series here on the channel. This is a little bit of modded Minecraft. We are going to be playing Vault Hunters. So originally, I was planning on playing a different mod pack. I was planning on playing more of a kitchen sink mod pack, something like Direwolf 20 or something like that. But due to popular request, there was a huge amount of people who really wanted to see me give Vault Hunters a go. And... I've never played this mod pack. In fact, I know very little about this mod pack, except that it was made by Iskal, and it's a lot more like an RPG than a normal mod pack is. And when I say it's a lot more like an RPG, I mean it. Dude, we have skill points. <laughs> like, we have this entire menu where we can spend skill points and unlock abilities. That's really cool. I don't know, maybe I'm just a nerd for this kind of thing, but I think that this is awesome. So, right off the bat, we get five skill points to use on whatever we want. So, if we go ahead and we head into abilities, we can go ahead and spend some of these things. And I've looked through a few of them, and I think I know which ones I want to pick. First thing, Vein Miner. So Vein Miner, it allows us to mine several blocks at once. And this says it's used by holding down the ability key while breaking blocks. Now, I don't know what the ability key is, so I'll have to look that up. But I do at least want to pick up one level of Vein Miner. Now, there is another one that is here that I really want. And I forgot uh, the dash. I want to grab the dash as well. So dash in the direction the player is facing can also be used in combination with an elytra. So this is basically like free rockets whenever we get an elytra, which we're going to have to get pretty early on pretty quickly. And I think that that's basically all that I want for abilities at the moment, but we still have three unspent skill points. So I'm going to head over to the talent section because I do know that there's some things that I want to grab out of here. Specifically, I want to grab experienced. So what this does is it passively increases the value of XP orbs by multiplying how much experience the player gains from them. So one experience orb will get a plus 50% increase in how much experience it gives you. That sounds like a good thing to pick up early game. Twerker is going to be extremely useful early game. So what this is going to do is allow us to twerk on crops and, uh, you know, grow them faster. So we don't need bone meal early game. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that. And I need to look up some of these other ones and read through them. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be another thing that we're going to want, right? No, no, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. I spent, I sp <laughs> I spent too long deciding what upgrade I needed and then my headphones are doing weird things and I was trying to fix it. So, uh, yeah, that didn't take very long, did it? Oh, hi, spider. You're back. Hello. My audio is still messed up, buddy. And you're, you still don't care. You're still going to attack me. All right. How much, how much health do you have? You have, you have a lot of health. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, just. Just bring it on. I know that the viewers can't hear anything and neither can I, but that's, it's fine. It's fine. Can you die, please? Thank you. Finally. <gasps> oh, a dead killer. A dead killer. How do I get you? Give me that. I need all of that. How do I get rid of the corpse? <laughs> Does my corpse just stay there? All right, I gotta, I gotta fix my headphones. Hold on. Okay, perfect. So, yes, we now have sound back, but... It's nighttime. It's nighttime. That's not good at all. I don't have a sword or anything. I am. <laughs> I am woefully ill prepared. This is perfect. Okay, let's just get started here. Let's get a crafting table down. Let's get a, I don't know, a sword. A sword sounds like a good idea. And then we will go and kill some sheep here so that we can get a bed very, very quickly because I, I'm scared of the night. I'm scared of the night. I don't know what this mod pack completely has to offer. So yeah, a bed sounds like a great idea. All right, three wool. Let's sleep away the night. Ooh, an egg. And that feels safer already. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Get away. Go. Die. Die in a fire. Literally, because you were, 
You're on fire. Get it? Ah, that's hilarious. All right, Creeper. Come on. You're next. Come on. Bring it on. Go. Or blow up. I'm, I'm fine with either, to be honest. No? All right. That's fine. All right. I'll just... I'll just smack you around a bit. Let's go. Just don't destroy my bed or anything. Go. And... Waka -ba -ba -ba. Got him. Nailed it. Dude, I'm so good at this mod pack. So anyway, like I was saying, I still have one more skill point to use, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just throw it into experience as well. Get me a plus 100% experience. I feel like early game, that's going to be pretty useful. So there are some other quirky things about this mod pack that are interesting. Things that make this mod pack very unique compared to others, and one of those is that you actually have to beat vanilla Minecraft before you can get into any of the modded content. So in this mod pack, your goal is to unlock the vault and to then complete these vaults, which are puzzles or adventures or killing something from my understanding. And once you do so many vaults, you unlock more and more mods and more and more useful items. But to get to the vault, you actually need, and if we go ahead and use our just enough items here, then we do vault on Hunters? Uh, well, that's that's a lot of items. Okay, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. This guy. We need the vault altar in order to get into the vaults. And this is our number one thing that's going to hold us up from continuing in the pack currently. So, as you can see, we need purple blocks, which means we have to get to the end. We also need nine diamonds for a diamond block, and we also need obsidian, so we at least need a diamond pick. So, that is going to hold us up until we can get into modded content. So yeah, the beginning of this pack is going to be a bit strange. We are just going to be playing normal Minecraft, at least until we get done with the end. So I'm going to try and kind of rush that. I'm going to try and get to the end as quickly as possible so that we can actually get into the good stuff. I don't particularly need a second vanilla series on my channel. So the first thing that I'm going to look for is going to be a village because we can use villagers to kind of speed up the process of getting to late game. We can get enchants from them. We can get diamond gear from them. They're going to be super, super useful for early game progression here. And this is not too far off from what I like to do in normal Minecraft anyway. I usually like to get villagers early on so we can kind of bypass some of the more grindy things in vanilla Minecraft. Hello there. And because we are in modded Minecraft, villagers are significantly less annoying. So let's say I want to move this guy around. I just shift, right click. <laughs> and I got this little guy in my pocket and I can go throw him wherever I want him. So let's say I want him trapped inside of here. I can do that pretty easily. However, I do probably want to make sure that he's not a fisherman anymore first. So drop this guy down and let's just break all of the workstations in this entire village. Just collecting myself a little bit of iron real quick. And now just a little bit of twerking. <laughs> and then we can trade that wheat with these guys in order to get ourselves our starting emeralds. And to be honest, this is great and all, but I think we need some more villagers. Ho oh, ho, that's a big deal. Pumpkins are a big deal. That is gonna allow us to trade with our farmers even more. Hello there, ruined portal. <laughs> Oh, obsidian. Oh, and an enchanted golden apple. That That's a notch apple, isn't it? Or are they different in the mod pack? They may be different. I'm not sure. But hey, there's some obsidian. Nice and easy. Perfect. Well, not exactly a village. <laughs> but I think these things can have villagers, right? Can't they have villagers inside of little prison cells? Uh, may, may be a good idea to... Just, just look around. Just look. No, no. Go away. Go away. Go. Oh, there's a hole there. Go away. Okay, you're not going away. All right, you gotta die. Sorry. Sorry. You gotta die. You came near me. That means you have to die. Ooh, a crossbow. Okay, everybody else stay back. I don't see any villagers. I only see pillagers. Okay, we're out. That's, that's good information to know in the future, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello, mysterious sign that tells me 900 blocks that direction. Uh, 
I don't know. Should I should I trust a mysterious sign in the woods? I guess we have nothing to lose. I want these pumpkins first, though. Okay, so I was following the sign, and I got a bit distracted. Buried treasure map. Let's do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> first diamonds. Nice. And a heart of the sea. Some emeralds. Not bad. Two diamonds. I will take that. That is enough for an enchanting table. Uh, we'll take the TNT, I guess. I don't need the rest of that stuff. Diamonds! Well, now I'm even more confused, because I just found another signpost, and it's telling me 300 blocks that direction, or 500 blocks that direction. Which way do I go now? <laughs> I guess I guess I'm going to go this direction, because this is, this, is <laughs> this is an area that I haven't explored anyway, so let's just... Let's go. Man. I don't know if those things are supposed to point to villages or not, but I definitely am not finding villages. Oh, what's this thing? Hello? I see some type of obelisk. Or is this like a waypoint? What are you? You are a sandy waystone. You need to research waystones in order to use this block. Well, that's useless then. Okay, let's see if there's a village somewhere around here. Ha ha! I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know that I've ever gotten this lucky in Minecraft. <laughs> Check this out, we got a zombie spawner here, right? And if we go ahead and we just head up just a little bit, we will end up in... <laughs> we will end up in our desert temple, right? And then if we go ahead and head up from there, this desert temple just happens to be on the side of that village. <laughs> that was awesome. That was an awesome chain of events. Uh, I still have more villagers to pick up, though. Oh! Hey! This... This village was not on the map earlier. I did not see this village. I wonder if those waypoints marked it on the map for us. Oh, that's super cool if it did, because our village is over here, right? And then we went, like, this way and around and then up. So I completely bypassed this. That... That is cool. Okay, I really don't have enough inventory space for that pit stop, though. Uh... Ah, we're gonna go anyway. Hello, other village! I'm hoping that you have a crate so that I can store more stuff. Hey, at the very least, I'll take these. Well, that village did not have a crate in it, so I'm gonna have to go back in a few minutes and get the villagers out of there because, uh, yeah, I just don't have the inventory space right now. So I'm gonna head back to my village right here real quick, offload some items, then go back and loot that village. I am doing a lot of village looting today. And update time. So it has been several hours, several hours of dealing with these guys, but I have made quite some significant progress. So let's start off around back with the first guy who was a huge help, this dude. He is a Fortune 3 villager. And I put that on an iron pickaxe that I got from uh, this guy. Yeah, this guy. So I got efficiency two, unbreaking three. I combined it a couple of times. So I had efficiency three, unbreaking three, fortune three, and I've been repairing this guy over and over again. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can't repair him anymore. But fortune three is a hugely overpowered thing in this uh, mod pack because what I can do is I can just twerk over here on these craps and then all I gotta do is just, you know, vein miner and boop break all the crops, and I get a lot of carrots. Now, those carrots, I can trade with these guys over here, all nice and stuff. Uh, well, I, I actually don't have that many carrots for you right now. I'm sorry, buddy. But anyway, I can trade with those guys, get a ton of emeralds, and then I can use that to unlock other trades with these other dudes. Now, there's other things I've been trading. I've been trading coal with this guy. I've been trading iron with this guy. I've been trading coal over here with this guy. And then I've also bought a bunch of chainmail junk and just a bunch of stuff. I got all of these guys upgraded for a huge, huge upgrade for myself. And that upgrade path is gonna go something a bit like this. Diamond axe, diamond sword, 
diamond pants, diamond boots, diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, last but not least, a diamond pickaxe. Booyah! I already have a diamond shovel because I traded with this guy before, but uh, that is a full set of tools. However, I still needed a few more upgrades, so I got mending from this guy and I got looting three from this guy. However, I need fortune. I need fortune for my brand new diamond pick. Ah, uh, come on. I only need a really small vein of lapis to re-enchant all of my gear. Can you give that to me, game? No? Just another another lava cave. Perfect. Great game. I appreciate it. Ha 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 ha! Nailed it! And yes, I know I can just trade for lapis, but I'm tired of trading with villagers, to be honest. Ah. Uh, that's, that's not good. Uh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Well, 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 well. I don't have any potions of weakness, nor can I create potions of weakness because I don't have nether wart. Do I have name tags? Can I name these guys so they at least don't despawn? I can trade for name tags. How do I trade for name tags? What, which one of you guys do name tags? It's, it's you or, no, 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 it's the librarians, right? You guys trade for name tags. This is a big problem and I don't know that I can save these guys, but I am at the very least going to try <laughs> and lanterns are locked out. Great, okay, we're gonna resort to paper. I don't know how many more things I have to go up. I think it's journeyman, then expert, then I unlock the name tag. Oh, this could get real difficult. Alrighty, so I got this guy up to mastery. Now I just need 19 emeralds in order to buy the name tags. And I need it once, uh, twice, although this guy's holding rotten flesh, so I don't think he'll despawn, but we may want to get one just to be sure. And then three times. Okay, that's that's a lot of emeralds, but we can do this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to... Whoops, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> we will uh, we'll have to cure those guys later, but at least they won't despawn now. So that's good. And I have them protected, hopefully. Hopefully everything's fine now. Now, back to what I was working on. Hey, nice! Efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune three on a pick. I will take that. Now, I think I'll just put a little bit of mending on it and we'll be good to go mining for a good while. Now, I think to enchant up the rest of my gear real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and head into the nether. And the reason for that is quartz is an amazing early game experience source. And into the portal we go, and hopefully we get a decent spawn. I actually don't know if this is going to be a vanilla nether, or if we're going to have some craziness here. But it looks like... Relatively vanilla? Wow, that is a huge lava lake. Okay, well, uh, we're here for quartz, not necessarily the lava lake, so let's see if we can't find some quartz around here on the ground. Hopefully... It's pretty readily available. Am I way up in the air on an island? Ruh row. This may not be good. Please no guest. Please no guest. <laughs> oh, this is risky. This is very risky, but I gotta get down. I gotta get down somehow. Hey, we're gonna need that. And I guess I should give another quick recap. I went into the nether with absolutely no problems, actually. I was able to kill off the demon dogs that are in there, which, yeah, we'll, we'll have to show that later. We're gonna have to make another trip to the nether anyway. But anyway, I fought off the demon dogs, fought off all the piglins, and got myself plenty of quartz. And now, all of my gear is re-enchanted. So I have a diamond helmet with fire protection three, 
Diamond chest plate with unbreaking three, protection three. Diamond leggings with protection four. Diamond boots with protection three. So pretty terrible enchants, to be honest. And then I have my diamond pickaxe, which is efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune three, and then mending. Then we have a diamond shovel with silk touch and efficiency three a diamond axe with efficiency three unbreaking three silk touch and then we have a diamond sword that came with smite four unbreaking three and knockback two and then i put looting three on it because we're gonna want looting and then i think that's it for the enchanting now what i'm doing is i am down here in the mines collecting up a bunch of materials including the vault rock that we just found because we're actually going to need vault rock. That is how we're going to get into the vaults themselves. But uh, for right now, I still need to collect up other materials such as, you know, normal diamonds. I think I've only found, I think I've only found one more pocket and it only gave me four with fortune. So we haven't found too, too much thus far. We need at least nine in order to make the the vault altar that we looked out toward the beginning of the episode uh let's see yeah this guy so yeah we need at least one diamond block and yeah i don't have that much so now i'm down here i'm a digging uh-oh i'm not sure i want to be in here uh just quick quick peek quick peek for the gold for the gold! Okay, alright, yeah. Just just the one chest. Just the one. Alright, alright. Black Lotus, what is that? Emit strong magical vibes. Alright. Emitting kind of creepy vibes to me, but alright, we'll call it strong magical vibes. That's fine. Okay, so at this point, we have a good amount of what we need for the vault altar completed. If we go ahead and take a look at this guy, we needed obsidian, which we obviously have. We needed a block of diamond, which we now have. And the last thing that we need is purple blocks, which means we got to go to the end. But in order to go to the end, we first got to do another adventure. And I've done a little bit of exploring around in the nether, and I have found a fortress, but... Well, let me just show you guys because it's not in the best place ever. So that is the direction to which I have already explored and I collected up quartz in order to get levels and such. We need to go that direction because if, let's, let's see if we can get close enough to it to where we can see. Uh, if we get closer, you may be able to spot. Can you see it out there? Yeah. The nether fortress is over a massive lava lake. <laughs> which is nerve-wracking. Which is nerve-wracking. Oh, hi there. Hi there. You're nerve-wracking as well. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. My sounds are messed up again. I just noticed my sounds are messed up again. Okay, we'll fix that. But basically, I need to bridge. I need to bridge all the way over there. And I need to bridge all the way over there safely. Let's get these in my offhand because this guy's about to... Look, he's investigating my sword. He's like, who killed my buddy? And I'm like, over here. Over here, mate. Yeah, right here. Come here. Yeah, I know. I can't hear you because my sounds are messed up. But you can hear my sword. Well, actually, you, you probably can't. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Okay, so I've made myself a bit of shelter around my portal. So hopefully we are at least somewhat safe. <laughs> now... The plan is to bridge all the way over this lava lake as safely as I possibly can. I'm scared. What one arrow in my life is ruined. Just one arrow and they will absolutely wreck me. I kind of want to put up a shield. <laughs> I want to put up a shield on both sides. This is going to be the nicest pathway I've ever done over lava just because I'm scared of being shot off. Oh, we have so far to bridge, too. Okay, all right, let's just go. Let's just go. That's all we can do. We can just go for it. You know what else I forgot? Iskal added in a mod to this mod pack that allows you to place blocks out in front of you, just like you can do in Bedrock Edition. So I can actually do this a little bit safer than hanging out over the edge. I mean, it's not super safe still, but... 
safer. Alrighty, so I finished the bridge over the lava. However, getting down and getting up was the issue, but came up with a plan and we're gonna see how this goes. Getting down, easy enough. Getting back up. Now this may be more difficult, but hopefully, hopefully everything will go fine. Ah! I don't want to deal with skeletons. Oh, skeletons. All right. Oh, especially those kind. Hi there. You are a pain. Go away. Go away. All right. Fortress. Fortress of fortressness is being built right now. This is officially the fortress of fortressness. And it is very fortressy. And also very incomplete. <laughs> okay. Well, we're in here. We're in here. I feel like I deserve props for at least getting this far, you know? That's a blaze spawner. This was a terrible location for the Fortress of Fortressiness. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is... This is going great. I know... Is there an interior bit of this thing? I know it's a massive fortress. There's got to be a place with, like, hallways and stuff, right? That would make my life easier. Hello. Hello, Blaze. Can you come this way? Huh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay, you're not going to come this way easily, are you? And you can't shoot through here, so I'm good there. All right, I do have two more arrows. Maybe we'll just... Look it! Gotcha! Nailed it. All right. Blaze Rod. That's one. Oh, I need way more than that, though. Oh! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hello. I don't need you, to be honest. I mean, if you want to drop me a Wither Skull, I'm not going to complain about it, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly need you. Okay. Also, I guess I should, like... If I'm gonna call this a fortress of fortressiness, I need to actually fill in the walls. Okay, let's do... We're gonna make a break for it. We're gonna make a break for it. Ah, don't hit me! Alright, fortress of fortressiness, part two. The escape route. That's the that's the name of it. The escape route. Okay. I saw this interior up here, and this is where I really wanted to get to. Oh uh, no! I'm on fire. Okay. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is a okay. The fire is normal. Ish. <laughs> Ish. I mean, it is the nether, right? Fire's normal-ish here. Yeah, I don't think there's an interior to this fortress. Hello. I am scared. This is terrifying. Okay, so I found a way to drop down to the lower level. Now, we just need to make a break for the inside. Let's go. Woo! Okay, skeletons. Skeletons ready. Bob and weave. Weave and bob. Later, Bobs! Uh-oh. Go away. Ha-ha! Fortress of fortressiness! Nailed it. <laughs> I'm the... I'm the best Minecrafter ever. Man. This is... This is so easy. I'm the... Gr I wasn't even scared. I wasn't. I wasn't even scared. That was you guys screaming, not me. Well, hello. You can go away. Thank you. All right. This is, this is going great. I don't know what you guys were so worried about. Yes! Another wart. That is what I needed. Well, one of the many things that I needed. But this is important, okay? I need all of this. I hear you, Blaze. I don't see you, but I hear you. Hopefully you're by yourself. If you're by yourself, I'm going to feel a lot more confident in taking you out. Do! Not if you sneak up on me. Ow. Die! Give me a rod! You didn't give me a rod. I see your friend over there as well. I'm gonna ignore him for right now, though. 
Exit! Exit! <laughs> Run! I think... I think I have all of the blaze rods that I need. Ten should be enough, at least for now. I also guess I should mention I picked up this little guy. <laughs> I actually had a wither skeleton drop one while I was uh, in the nether, so that was pretty lucky. But now I have nether wart so I can make potions for, well, to cure these guys first off, but also so that we have them for when we go into the vault. And then I also have blaze rods so that we can combine the blaze powder with ender pearls and make eyes of ender to go find the end portal. So now I just need to trade with this guy to get ender pearls and we'll be good to go. I can do that in between episodes because ladies and gentlemen that is actually all that i have time for today i do hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode though very interesting series very interesting mod pack i am enjoying it i am even though this first episode was a little bit grindy and very vanilla still had fun with it anyway guys that's gonna be it for me today i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one you guys have a great day